we are back and this time we are racing in miami uh, it'll be the first ever time i've ever raced there so i'm gonna make sure i get plenty of practice but before that we can go ahead have a look at our facilities we might be able to upgrade something i think the chassis will be the first thing that i want to upgrade and yes we can so we've got three million on the side um i think the best way to do it would be to increase the resource point generation because we're not getting enough in right now so we'll put that upgrade on to the uh, chassis facility can we play with two aero upgrades are going to come in before miami as long as i don't fail we got one chassis upgrade that's supposed to come in as well and um we can get another engine power upgrade to come in just before spain i think that'll be a good move as well a durability upgrade will also come in for miami so we've got plenty oh let's have a look at this a claim for beating them you'll lose a claim if you fail to do so we need your input here not an easy choice i know so this is an interesting one um this is how you decide your rival now a lot of f1 fans have you down as one of the favorites for this year's championship Hold on a second. <laughs> what do you mean? We're one of the slowest cars on the grid. Who do you consider to be your closest rival this season? Daniel's a ta talented driver, very difficult to overtake. Ready to challenge him. Looking forward to locking wheels with Lando out on track. Um, I think we'll have our rival. Maybe as Lando Norris, because he's our British counterpart. So we'll have a rival with Lando Norris out on track. All right, here we are in qualifying after a long, long practice session. I can assure you of that. I was trying to learn the track, learn the lines, and I still don't feel very confident. So if we manage to out-qualify our teammate, it would be quite the achievement. Uh, even getting close, I feel, would be pretty good. Um, but the goal is, I guess, to get off the back row. Uh, I do not feel confident around here at all. Let's see what sort of time it is as we come across the line. It's not that great at all. I'll tell you what, it's not that awful either. 30.6. We're only half a second away from Lance Stroll in the Aston Martin. But we made several mistakes that lap, which means we should definitely be bottom. Uh, Theo Porche getting a 29.5. So about a second quicker than us, which makes, makes a lot of sense. And we are going to be last on the grid. And somehow we're matching our delta right now. And that's just 30 seconds left in the session. Much smoother through there. We gained a whole second. What am I doing? We gained eight tenths right there. We gained that second to our teammate just in that one left hander. And I've spun it trying to get that as fast out of that corner as possible oh for god's sake we got a 30.6 our teammate ended up with 29.5 so that whole second there or eight nine tenths that we gained off that one left hander alone that would have put us right there with our teammates so at least we know that we do have the pace when we hit the lines right in qualifying it was a one two for ferrari they are flying this season max was happening p3 and it's a mercedes four and five so red bull mercedes are in quite a fight at the front a bit surprising that ferrari is so far ahead you can see we're actually p21 we moved up a position because sebastian vettel must have taken a grid penalty uh, pretty early to be taking grid penalties but he has our teammate in p18 maybe we could can do something this race we're going to start in the softs just so we could be a bit competitive at the start of the grand prix we don't want to drop too far behind the other guys so we'll start in the softs here we are for the first time ever in miami it's five red lights and away we go and we get a decent getaway. Lance Stroll also gets away pretty well. Sebastian Vettel is already on our inside. We're going to be coming down into turn one. Not too fast. We don't want damage. But we are going to go side by side with the Aston Martin. Sebastian Vettel made a dive bomb down the inside. And he's made it work. But we've got up. He's made contact with our teammate. Almost collects us. But we get through the first couple corners okay. And now we're side by side with the four-time world champion. We should have him covered with the inside line. But he is still fighting with us. Now his teammate makes a big mistake. He's going to look for a move down the inside. Not here, mate. We're going to stay in a single file line. Try and get a good enough exit. Maybe we can get a good enough exit to get ahead of our teammate. But it's not quite good enough. So we've moved up a position into P20. Lance Stroll down into P22. On these soft tyres, we're going to see if we can try and make a couple moves to, to forward our race. 
Look at that from Theo Porcher. He's made a massive dive bomb. We're going to go around the outside of Nicholas Latifi, which turns into the inside. We've moved up a position. Our teammate has moved up a couple of positions. We're now going to go down the inside of the Alfa Romeo. Don't usually make a move there. We clip our teammates' wheels, but we get through unscathed. We're making moves here. Theo Porcher, great double overtake, I think it was, down the inside. And we have, have capitalised as well, and we've got two overtakes ourselves. So we're up into P18. Uh, our teammate in P17. Let's keep this going, mate. Look, I literally have just realised this. We have no ERS. We have burned through all of our ERS already. Just staying, just trying to stay with a group up ahead. So we've actually left ourselves very, very vulnerable indeed. We're going to try and sit behind the uh, poor chair now and not lose or not use any more ERS and just try and sit in his DRS and stay with him that way because this is a concern that I didn't realize we had but already down to 12 10 percent ERS we can't use any down this straight and we're going to get eaten up alive by the Alfa Romeo as he's going to go around the outside we're going to tuck in behind him coming down into the corner and we've braked way too early. He's given the Aston Martin and Sebastian Vettel a chance. Or Lance Stroll, sorry. And he's made the most of it. Oh no, it was Sebastian Vettel. He's made the very most of it. So we've lost two places down in one straight after realising that we have no more ERL, ERS left. The yellow flag up ahead. Has someone spun? They have. I'm not sure who that is. But someone has spun. And we've moved up a place thanks to it. P19. Try and have a look now. It is a Mercedes. It's a Mercedes. Is it Lewis Hamilton or is it George Russell? I do not know. You guys probably know. Let's have a quick look real quick. Oh. What does it say? Surely they'll be down there. Oh no, it's our teammate. Oh, I thought it was a Mercedes, but it's actually our teammate, Theo Porcher. He had a spin. So that's nowhere near as exciting anymore. Our teammate down a P22. I thought it was a Merc. <laughs> There's another yellow flag. What's happened? This one is a Merc, I'm pretty sure. But there is another yellow okay, flag, and it's down. a safety car. Okay. It was a Ferrari, actually. But we are going to be coming straight into the pits. We have to reduce our, our pace. So is Sebastian Vettel. But a lot of the cars have already passed, passed the pits. So... We're getting a free pit stop here. Quite a few have already passed. In for his stop now. This could be very, very good for us indeed. Oh, and Aston Martin has stopped. The yeah, yeah, has moved up. What's happened there? He's spawn, I think. What has happened to Lance Stroll? No, he's slowed down. So he's got something wrong with his car. Yeah, there's smoke coming out the back, and then the Ferrari of Carlos Sainz. <laughs> F122, ladies and gentlemen. F122. I've messed up here. I've messed up. I've messed up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're going to be slow. We're going to be slow this first lap. We're almost pushing Vettel around. All right, but away we go. Come on. Let's see if we can just hang on to the back of Vettel for this first lap. Got to be careful. These tyres are still going to be warming up. All right. I feel like I've got the grip now. They feel, they feel all right. I reckon we can have Vettel down this very, very soon. I reckon maybe down the next straight. While he's warming up his hard tyres. Look how close we are to the Aston Martin of Sebastian Vettel. Trying to see if maybe we can make a move. We're going to chuck on our ERS. We're going to turn it off actually because we know how quickly ERS can be drained around here. Oh my god. We bottled it. I can't move. Oh, we've hit our teammate. Oh my gosh. I can't move. I genuinely can't move. The safety car's been deployed. I'm sorry, lads. I couldn't move. Okay, watch your pace. We've been informed the safety <sighs> car is out. It looks like we might have an issue. Hang in there. We're attempting to manage... Hold it. on, hold on. No, you can't do this to me, Mark. There's three laps to go. 
and we're about to have a three lap shootout on these soft tyres. We're going to be faster than all the cars I've had. Don't, don't retire me now, Mark. Come on. It looks like we're experiencing an ERS software glitch. Oh, it's always on. Turn it off. Turn it off, Mark. Turn it off. Shut up, Mark. You need, you need to fix the software glitch, mate. This is not good for us at all. You need to... Oh, you're numpty. We're going to have so much more grip. Okay, the pits are over here. That is one of the worst races I've ever done. Oh, mate. I'm still trying to get used to these tyres. One, I'm tired as well, actually. But I'm trying to get used to these tyres and also the track. So, I mean, uh, is what it is. We could have scored points if we didn't crash after the first safety car, but we, um, but we did. We did. So there you have it. I'm having to record this after because, um, for some reason my mic didn't work at the end. But you can see Charles Leclerc takes pole or not pole takes the race win. We have Max Verstappen P2 and Hamilton getting a podium. Fernando Alonso getting all the way up in a fourth with Kevin Magnussen up there as well. So. Um, quite big performances from a group of people. Obviously, a couple of safety cars helped that, as well as science crashing out uh, into Lance Stroll. Theo Porcher did well to get P12, very, very close to points, and hopefully he can continue this form in the future. We obviously got that DNF with a couple laps to go, mainly because of that ERS software glitch, which we had. You can see here, P11 in the standings, but that's not the main standings we're focused on. We're focused on the constructor standings. We're P7. Uh, P7 in the constructors is probably the minimum we want, and maybe we can push up to Haas and Alfa Romeo if possible. If you guys are enjoying this series, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.